So Galton has won this round emphatically with his very traditional duck. But if Anthony hadn't burnt his oxtail, things could have gone the other way. What that means, of course, is that the decision about who goes through to represent the Midlands and East in the final is still very much in the balance as we reach the dessert. Galton's keeping it classic with a steamed treacle sponge served with a heady combination of clotted cream ice cream and custard. That isn't too much of a plateful, is it? Come on, be honest. Very nice. Gorgeous. Thank you, gentlemen. Away. Tell me, when you come down, tell me if the ice cream stayed. <laughs> ah, pudding. Not a moment too soon. My favourite thing is dessert. The pudding. I think this is a radical departure. I think the idea of having custard and ice cream mm, is almost, you know, revolutionary. Mm. You just want to eat the whole lot up. It doesn't go with the flow of the day, though. Orange what do you mean it ones. didn't go with the flow of the day? Well, I don't feel this dessert fits in with what, what the rest of the dish is. Do you? Yeah. How? Well, <clears throat> it certainly fits in with either of the last two courses, which have both been quite rustic mm. and, um, and sort of mainstream traditional English food. Mm. I could eat this any day of the year, and it's wonderful. And what's more, every one of those guests will gobble it up. It's so sensible, nice, decent, appeals to yeah. the um, rather old-fashioned traditional decencies of English society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like it the speaks to the inner man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yawn, yawn. Galton's completed his four courses, so he's got nothing left to do but wait and worry. Now it's Anthony's turn to serve up the final dish of this heat, baked egg custard with a summer fruit compote. By his own admission, Anthony isn't much of a pudding man, so he's going to have to work extra hard to wow the judges. Now, what shall I do first? Exciting this, isn't it? So exciting when you know what the you're doing. OK, shall I do the custard first or that first? Uh-huh, 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 ho 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 Here we go. Charlie, it's not coming out. Mm. Number three we could do with another one. I'll tell you what that could have really done with. What? A bit of clotted cream ice cream. You're probably right. Can I borrow some? <laughs> <laughs> now, this needs to be held very carefully because I don't want that juice is running too far. OK? Well, it all seems to have gone off without any major hitches, but will Anthony's dessert stand up to close scrutiny? That is a perfect custard. 